It's all right. Can we go? Yes. Okay. Good. Content warning. One specific path of this game contains graphic content depicting pixelized blood. Oh my days. Can be set with content setting and options. This path also prompts the player to kill animal characters. You will know if you're on set path. Understood? Yep. You have been warned. All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jay Batula here. Now, where were we? You're probably wondering uh, what Chris and company does when they're not on these adventures such as chapter one or chapter two. What do they do in between chapters? Well, this game, I think, answers that. It probably doesn't, but you know, it's just something, it's just something that I, whatever, just play along. Playing Undertale Yellow really opened the floodgates for me um, to play all these different fan games. And so here we are with Delta Traveler. And also, what happens when you take this meme, like Chris, where the hell, where the f are we, and turn it into a game? Well, then you get Delta Traveler. Anyways, Chris and Susie go to places that they shouldn't be at. Good. Let's just get straight into this shit. Okay, this game has actually been out for a long time. 2021? Is that right? Hmm. Well, we all know these controls. We will never let go of this beautiful name. All right, there we go. And this is your name. Yes, it is. All right, everybody. Are you ready for another adventure? Because I sure am. All right, we're back in Undertale. Who would have fucking thought? Uh, what the hell? Yeah, you already know. Chris, is that you? Yep. God damn it, Chris! Where the hell are we? And the meme has already begun. Yes. Whatever. Let's just try to find a way out of here. You know it, Susie. Oh, new sprites. New running sprites. Great. Howdy, Sniff. I'm Flowey. Flowey the Flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't you? Uh. Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach how things work around here. Ah, uh, yes. Not. Well, with this whole Delta Traveler meme, we're expecting crossovers. Never expected before, I guess. <laughs> they, they, they've probably been expected before. Let's be fair. Someone ought to teach you to mind your own damn business. Hey, that's no way to talk to a kind-hearted stranger. <laughs> so what? Leave us alone and get out of the way. But don't you want to know about your soul? About love? Dude, why do you want to show us this stuff so badly? Do you want our souls or something? <sighs> How'd you? I didn't know. You're the one who said it. Chris, let's teach this idiot a lesson. What? The hell are you doing? We're in a battle. How do you not know this? No one's gonna know what you're doing if you fight like this, idiot. <laughs> Fine! If it'll get you to shut up, then hurry and show us how you do it. Don't worry, this won't take long at all. Alright, here we go. <laughs> okay. See that heart? That is your soul, the very culmination of your being. Yes, we're back in the ship, and we have 20 HP. We're seriously back on level fucking one in Undertale. That's great. Yes! I love it. Why the hell am I on your side? Because you're a monster. The human has to fight the monster. Like hell I'm gonna fight with you. <laughs> All right, goodbye. There we go. Now get out of here! Well, Flowey got his ass beaten. Ha! <laughs> we showed that flower who's boss. Though, it's kind of weird how he tried to trick us and steal our souls. Whatever the hell that means. <laughs> also, I thought magic only worked in the dark world. I guess... I guess not. I guess they... I don't... I don't know. This would be some kind of dark world in, in, by Deltarune standards. Hello! Is everything okay in... Isn't that your mom? Not in this universe, baby. What the hell is she doing here? I... Uh, uh, please excuse me. Hey, wait a sec! 
What the hell was that all about? You'd think she'd be happier to see us. Hmm. Well, we should probably figure that shit out. Alright, we should probably try to catch up with her, huh? Yep, we absolutely fucking should. There's no time to waste in the ruins, section one. Yes. Alright. Despite being in an entirely new world, you can still see the light. Always. You're filled with the power of familiarity. Fuck yeah. HP fully restored, but I live in Korea. Yes. Alright. Wait! Don't you want to see- Why the hell is she running away? Hmm. Alright. Get all the buttons. That's right. Or pistons. Press Z to read signs. Yes. Oh. Hey, those are my stats. I got a pencil and a bandage. That's all that there is to it. Big pencil. <laughs> pencil and big pencil. Wonderful. Bandage. Alright. Here we go. Stay on the path. Stay. Don't tell me what to do. Now you know Susie. Luckily, this isn't Undertale Yellow, so um, there's literally no hole right here to go down to. It's stuck. You know, what would have would have been cool if um, that connection was made. But then again, it's fan games, so, you know, no. It's not gonna happen. Chris, look! A training dummy! We should go beat it up! Absolutely we should. Can we fight it? Oh, hell yeah, shit. You encountered the dummy. Yes. Let's fight that shit. Boom. Okay, that's a... One gold! Alright, well... Huh? It just... Turned into dust. That's kind of eerie, not gonna lie. Yeah, well, um, you have never played Undertale before, Susie, but now you're going to. Ugh, um, hey, Miss, uh, Dreamer. We're kind of wondering, uh, why you're running away from us. Does she know? My apologies. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I could not bear these emotions, and I did not want to worry you two. But of course, I failed at that. <laughs> Is she sniffing some coke? Of course she was crying. She's not sniffing coke, Jay. It's so stupid, huh? Uh, uh, um, sorry. Please do not apologize. You did nothing wrong. But I, I must ask you. <laughs> Does she know? My child who had been taken from us far too early. Oh. Kara. Right? Kara, the first fallen human. Because of the shirt. Yeah. The shirt is, is very similar to Kara. Yeah. My child, who in spite of your light-hearted pranks, was a delight to our people down here, and inspired hope into the lives of many. My child, is it truly you? No, I'm a different... I'm a different guy. What? Taken? Ma'am, I'm pretty sure Chris is too weenie to get themselves killed. Chris? Uh, yeah. Your kid is Chris, right? Uh, uh, of course. I apologize for my emotional outburst. Yes, even if they survived, they would not have lived this long. It was unreasonable for me to have thought that Chris was them. It's whatever. But you still get that hug, because why the fuck not? You're used to those hugs from that goat mom, so yeah. So you say that I'm the mother of this child? Uh, yeah. And you know my last name as well? Yes. You taught little kids at the school? Really? Well, unfortunately, I'm not the same Toriel. Toilet. That's right. Huh? I am not a teacher, nor am I the caretaker of Chris. Rather, I am the caretaker of the ruins, <laughs> and formerly a, a fairly regarded royal figure. So how could this... Oh, that... Huh? Could it be that you two are from another world? Yes. I guess that explains what's going on. So, hmm. Again, me with my questions, you guys know. Um... <laughs> Uh, so this world, is that a different version of Undertale, or is it the same Undertale that we know? So, if that's the same Undertale that we know, the same timeline that we play on, where is this situated in? Like, is it before Frisk arrives, or 
yeah, it, sure, it is before Frisk arrives, but I don't know. You guys, you guys know better than me on all fronts. I'm just, I'm a humble student. I'm trying to learn. Do you know how we can get out of here? Possibly. You could perhaps meet with the Underground's Royal Scientist. He's always doing interesting experiments. Oh, he may be able to help you travel home. And how do we find this guy? You will have to travel all the way to Hotland. It is pretty far away, but I'm sure that you can make it. After all, you both are traveling together, are you not? Hell yeah, we are. Excellent. I will prepare something for you to take on your travels. It should not take you very long to reach the end of the ruins. Good luck, you two. Uh, thanks. Sure. Would it be a butterscotch cinnamon pie? Oh, Chris. You two could possibly use my help on your way. I will give you a cell phone. You already have one? Of course. Then I can give you my phone number. Oh, yeah, baby. I got a phone number. Snape. You got Toriel's phone number. You registered it under the contact name Otherworldly Mom. If you have a need for anything, just call. I hope to see you two very soon. So, Delta Traveler is not only taking place in this Undertale universe, we are also traveling to other fan game universes, right? So can we, like, call Toriel, like, interdimensionally? I hope to see you two very soon. So, we gotta meet with this royal scientist guy to get home. Hmm. This should be pretty fun. Let's not- let's get going, Chris. So, again, how did they get in this situation? Is this because they entered one of the dark worlds at the school or outside? Perhaps. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. Yes. Wait, can we just... Okay. There are literally no consequences. I can just run wherever I want to. <laughs> okay, great. All right, all right, all right. So, um, of course, with any Undertale Deltarune-inspired fan game, there will be fights, and hopefully I can hit up a shop somewhere where we can focus on getting our armor up and our defense and just our stats in general. Um, because, yeah. It says take one. Take a piece of candy? Oh, you bet. Chris, we should just take all of it. Yeah! You tried to take as much candy as you could before anyone else saw. But after the fourth one, the candy spilled on the floor. God damn it. Whoops. Well, how much then? Did we get four? <laughs> yes, we did. Alright, perfect. Monster candy. Good. We need as much food as we possibly can. We need to get our stats up as early as we can because I know that there's going to be some fucking fights later on that I'm going to die multiple times at and I don't want to do that. So yeah, the leaves crinkle playfully as you step over them. You're filled with the power of leaf pile diving. HP fully restored. Oh, wait. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right, we're in the ruins entrance or leaf pile. There we go. Sup, Froggit. Frog it hop close. Oh, I like these remixes. That's great. All right, let's see. Oh, wait. Ribbit, ribbit. All right, here we go. The battlefield is filled with the smell of mustard seed. All right, can we do mercy? Defend. We can defend. Oh, yeah, and that gets our TP up like uh, like in Deltarune. Uh, act. Uh, compliment. Here we go. Let's not kill. All right. Let's not initiate uh, a genocide run immediately. Uh, all right. Wait, let's do some magic, actually. Unlimited heal. You know what? Um, yeah, compliment and spare. Yeah, Froggit didn't understand what you said, but it was flattered anyway. Perfect, Susie spared the enemies. Nine gold, all right, perfect. So, um, yeah, we gotta initiate in more fights more often so that we can get some more money. Um, and so we can buy some good armor. Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way, or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please. Use some mercy, human. Ribbit. Why are they only talking to you about this, Chris? Well, that's because I'm a special boy. I'm a special somebody. Are we gonna meet uh, Napsablook now? Oh wait, that's not here, that's not here. Uh, so those cracks in the ground will make us fall? Uh, got it. 
Susie's now immune to cracks. Great. That's good to know. Oh, wait. Hey, buddy, buddy, I just want to be your friend, all right? Wimson approached meekly. Yes. All right. We got to get some gold, brothers. We got to get some gold. Wait, can we already? It's already 100% mercy. All right, well, I guess we'll just do that. You and Susie spared the enemies. You won. And zero gold. What the hell? I just wanted to get that Wimson's pocket money and he doesn't have any? What the hell? Ring! Hello! This is Toilet! I suppose you are already aware of my affinity for pie, yes? Well, I would like to know your flavor preferences. Well, at the moment, I'm enjoying a vanilla protein shake, so... <coughs> shit. <laughs> with oats in it. I think an oat got stuck in my throat there. But yeah, something with vanilla, please. Chris, do you prefer cinnamon or butterscotch? Well, the two answers or two choices that we already know very well. Yes. Honestly, cinnamon is fucking great. It's bangers. Cinnamon apple pie, you guys. Cinnamon apple pie. Best pie. Cinnamon? I see. And Susie? What would you prefer? Me? If she doesn't have, like, chalk or snails, then. I guess butterscotch. Yeah, best of both worlds. I've never actually had butterscotch. I want to do that someday. Ah, I see. Cinnamon and butterscotch. Thank you very much. Click. Alright, we know this puzzle. Very, very well. Hey! Here's some chance to make some more money. A pair of frogets hop towards you. Alright, you know what? Uh, I have a feeling that... I can't remember. Alright, spare. Here we go. 11 gold. Thank you. You had some pocket money that I could steal. Fair and squarely, by the way. Alright, Susie's immune to cracks. Okay. Not, not actually. Look, Wimson just doesn't want to fight. <laughs> you know what, Wimson? Thank you for trying to, to defend me, but that's not going to happen. Oh, the frog had, the frog had forced Wimson to be here. All right, um, you know what? Oh, Wimson can already be spared. It's, a, it's an easy fight with Wimson there. All right, there we have it. Two, two gold, all right. You know what? Something tells me I should hit the frog at once, and then we can get some more gold out of it. I need gold, alright? I'm a greedy little son of a bitch. I need money so that I can upgrade, so that I can be better. Because I don't know how tough these battles are gonna be. War there, partner! What? Who said you could push me around? I did. Move to the button! Now, why would I move there if you're being so darn rude? Because if you don't, I'll move you by force. Like you even could. I'm practically welded to the earth. I ain't moving, prissy missy. Well, I warned you. Move, damn it! There we go. You show that rock who's boss, Susie. Nice. Ha! All right, let's hurry up before some shit happens. All right, let's go fight some jellos. Mold smalls. Line of mold smalls, rather. All right. They're already mercying. Holy shit, really? Uh... Okay. I don't like these fights. Alright, I can't get money out of it. I love money, okay? I need money to get some better armor, alright? The mouse chasing after the cheese is a true universal constant. You're filled with the power of the chase. The chase, ah yes. Even though it's not the same thing, it's a great program. With that guy that always laughs at penis jokes, it's fucking great. In what sport does Fanny Schmeller compete for Germany? Fanny Schmeller. Fanny Schmeller. Fanny Schmeller. Fanny Schmeller. Fanny Schmeller. Fanny Sch this cheese has been here quite a long time. Hell yeah. Table cheese. Mmm. Hey, it's stuck to the table. Oh. Well, Susie, there's probably a reason for that. Nappy, sup? Uh, hello? Oh, was I not convincing? Aren't you a cop? I would never. Oh, am I in the way? Yeah. Sorry. I'll, I'll get out of your way. <laughs> Goodbye, Nappy. Uh, cool. Yeah, Susie's gonna take a bit of, of time to just get adjusted to this world. Yeah. Ring! Hello, this is Toriel. 
Apologies for not responding to your calls very much. I have not made a single call since we last spoke. I'm currently busy preparing something for you and Susie. Oh, I wonder what that could be. Thank you for your patience, dear. Click. Alright, here we go. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down to the right. Come eat food made by spiders. For spiders. Of spiders. Of spiders? Yeah, cannibalism. Cannibalism. Uh, oh, f Okay, luckily this is not like Earthbound, where if you turn your backs to them, they won't get the first, uh, the first swing. Alright, uh, spare. Susie spared the enemies, but the enemy's name wasn't yellow. Bam, Shazam. Please, don't pick on me! Well, you picked on me to begin with, you son of a shit. Alright, looks is staring right through you. Well, what can you see? Can you see that I am controlled? That I'm controlled by some otherworldly being? We're gonna be good. We're gonna be great, alright? We're not gonna be rude. We're not gonna use the root buster because there's no TP for it anyway. Alright, 50%. You stepped away from looks. Susie spared. But the enemy's name wasn't yellow. Surprise, surprise! But what about the girl? Well, what about her? She's my friend. She's my friend and confidant. Alright. Ganashes its teeth. Come on, don't pick on. Do something. S action. Alright. You picked on looks. Alright, there we go. Susie picked on looks. I'm gonna throw you against the wall like a dodgeball. I won't pick on you. Well, you, you've you hurt me. Spare. And spare. There we go. 14 gold. You know what? I like that. I like that. But we have to return here. We have to return to the save point. Because uh, I took some damage. Spider big sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Well, where the fuck is it? I want my spider shit. Alright, can I can I eat fried spider? Sup, Mr. Froggit. We won't be fighting you. Shit. There's just one switch. Ah, uh, is it this room? Oh wait. Hmm. Ah ha, ha yes, I remember. I remember this. The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. So we have to find one of those switches, which is located behind one of these pillars right here. You press the blue switch, you hear a clicking sound. That's right. One of these are not like the other, all right? I guess you press the red switch, you hear a clicking sound. Yes, which is what allows us to do this. I like how it's uh, with Delta Traveler, you can actually see the enemies. So let's go this way. Hmm. Oh my days. I feel like Rousey smoking a blunt is like one of the most overused memes in this community. And also the uh, Mercedes Benz meme. Hello, I'm Rousey. I'm driving a Mercedes Benz. Yeah, it's a plastic toy knife. Pick it up? Yes, absolutely. You got the toy knife. Oh shoot, Chris, a knife. You should totally equip that. <laughs> Those are your style. Huh? Me? Um. I kind of like my big pencil. <laughs> I'm only gonna give this up if there's a, like, big-ass stick. Yes, okay, so stat. Anything that we can do, all right. So if we go otherworldly mom. Wait, call home. We can call home? Okay. I will probably make use of that later. You equip the toy knife. Good. So what does that make us do? Attack goes up to three. All right, cool. Do I... Then what about... Yeah, I have the pencil. All right, uh, info. Pencil, weapon attack one. Mightier than a sword? <laughs> Maybe equal at best. This weapon is a slash type weapon. One bar, standard damage. All right, there we go. Now we have a bit better of a weapon. So here we go. Doobie. Rousey, why are you smoking weed? Just come on with us. You reached out to touch Rousey, but suddenly. Oh my days. That's what happens when you pass the, when you try to smoke the, smoke the devil's kush. The devil's grass, brothers. You just disappear. I've been there, I've done that, alright? I smoked the devil's uh, grass and I disappeared. Funny story. If this magic truly did work, then I... Um, hi, Miss Dreamer. Oh, hello, Chris. Susie. It is wonderful that you were able to make it here unharmed. Well, yeah, sure. Thanks to all the save points, I am here unharmed. Um, no. My home is just up the head. 
please follow me inside. I have a surprise for you. I wonder what that could be, huh? Something that we ordered, perhaps? Hmm. A surprise? I bet she made us a pie or something. It isn't a surprise if she does this stuff all the time. <laughs> so, let's go. You can smell the distinct aroma of butterscotch cinnamon pie from outside the house. Of course we can. The power of home shines within you. Welcome home, you two. Wow, this is way bigger than Chris's house. The surprise is at the end of the hallway to the right. I will meet you two there. There we go, yes. All right, well, this is as we all know it. Look at that. That's us, baby. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Surprise! I've assembled a room for you two. It is still quite unorganized, but we can always do that later. But we aren't staying here. We're trying to leave. Oh, yes, that is correct. Perhaps you might want to rest here before you go, then. I could turn this into a guest room later. That sounds good. Excellent! I have a pie in the oven right now. Feel free to take a nap while it cools. Oh, sweet! Rest well, Chris, Susie. Right? Well, she really isn't that different, huh? Now, I'm kind of wondering what I'm like in this world. Well, you don't exist, Susie. Let me just put it like that. And neither does Chris. It's two entirely different universes. Whatever. Might as well rest up while we can. We've got a long road ahead of us. Yes. Wait, there is a television. It's an abandoned television. It's unplugged. How about we plug it in? I want to see monster TV. You decided to climb into bed. Maybe we can get some, like, lore and stuff <laughs> from watching the TV. Okay. What is this shit all about? Can I control? Nope. It's probably Chris. Chris? You are quite lost, aren't you? I have a proposition for you. You, Chris, Susie, come find me. Traverse the gray doors until you reach the golden corridor. Defeat the one that carries your own essence. Yes. <sighs> Meet with me. I can set you free, Chris. I shall see you soon. Yes. But it was all a dream. Chris, wake up. Chris, you've been sleeping for two hours. The pie apparently got cold. So I ate most of it, okay? But I did leave a slice for you. You got the butterscotch pie. All right, great. You aren't as greedy as I thought you were, Susie. Now let's get out of here. I'm tired of this place. Good. Let's go. You know, you can't get sick and tired of home. That's why you leave it when you're 18 or 20 or whenever the f The door is locked. Well, shit. Can't go into Asriel's room. Can we go and speak to Tori Toilet? Toilet before anything? My, look who has gotten up. You look very well rested. So, do you two plan on going soon? I don't know. I'm mostly just following Chris. Very well then. I hope you come talk to me before you go. That's exactly what we're doing right now. Well, if you don't have anything else to say, really. Speaking of going soon, I have an errand of my own to tend to. You two landed on the bed of flowers, did you not? Yeah. I will need to go check on them very soon. Check in it before you leave. No, do not worry about that. It is just inspection and watering. I would not want to pain you with more traveling. Well, I'll see you around, Toilet. In another universe, in another time, in another vibe. Alright, let's go. This time, no Toilet is going to stop me from leaving the ruins. Alright, let's go. Wait a moment! Huh? I forgot to warn you of the monsters that live here. What? I can only assume that in your world, humans and monsters live in peace. They sure do. That is not so in this world. Whereas monsters have been banished underground, where the Tyrannus Ascor has sworn to take any human soul, 
If you change your minds on your journey. If we change our minds, then what? Never mind. I wish you the best of luck. Be good, won't you? My child. Oh, yes. Chris, <laughs> that was really weird. Do you think she was about to ask us to stay? Well, we shouldn't have let her down if she gave us up like that. Let's go home. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. All my fellas. Yes. Let's go, everybody. All right. Oh, sh And we're already doing that? Back off. Oh, shit. <laughs> And let you leave? Run away to your other world. Back to the comfort of your loving mommy. Boy, just hearing there's even more worlds out there. Imagine the fun I'd have. Shut up. Just get the hell away from us. Or what? You will kill me? You wouldn't kill your best friend, would you, Chris? You wouldn't let him get away from you, would you, Chris? All right, you've gone too damn far. You're going to eat those words, plant! Oh, little old me. That's just silly. Why would I do that? <laughs> when I can have your souls instead. Just, just, just cut him off. Just cut him off. Oh, my days, we're already doing this. And I have, I have no armor. Flowey attacks, holy shit. <laughs> okay. Well, there's no mercy here. We need 60. All right. Okay. The vines are wriggling. Um, and we only have four monster candy. And what does that do? Heals 10 HP. Okay. Um, we can do healing with Susie, but that's about it. All right. Well, here we go. Flowey Flash is a wicked grin. Wipe that shit off your face. S action. Use that on Flowey. But you couldn't think of anything to do. Damn, okay. Shit, you're just gonna hit me with that? Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, alright. I will keep on fighting the good fight, and Susie takes the monster candy. I can defend, and then, uh, magic and root buster. There we go. Shit! Susie casts root buster. Whoa, wow, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my god, oh my god, can I- Ah! Okay, shit. Root Buster. How about you die now? That would be a great idea. Stupid, I have my money. What? 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 Oh! Shit. Come on, we gotta do this. That's all he can muster up. Those are the types of attacks he can really muster up. Maybe that's what we're learning him. To maybe get him better attacks. So that he can easily kill us multiple times. This I'm not so happy about. We're actually teaching Flower that he should use better attacks for when Frisk arrives. This is not cool. I don't uh, condone this. It is actually not right. It is uncool. It is actually quite bullshit. Good. And now we can deliver the final blow. Together. There we go. <laughs> well done, Chris. You're clearly not the pushover I thought you were. I wouldn't have gone down that easily if I fought anyone else. But you're different. Why, through sheer will and determination, you were able to wither me down. So, Chris, it's time to make your final move. Do it. Finish me off. Okay. Okay, spare. You spared the enemies. Huh? What? You're seriously trying this? Sparing me? You can't possibly be serious. Come on, kill me already. What about defend? <laughs> what about that? Hmm. Hey, he's on one HP, there we go. Kill me! You spared the enemies. Kill me! No! Kill me! No! Ugh. Keep on sparing, brother. Ha <laughs> ha! You spared the enemies. You know, I, uh, 
when I overheard everything, that in another world she has children, I figured it all out. You spared the enemies. That maybe if I took your soul, I could explore other worlds in your place. I could see them again. You spared the enemies. You look so much like them, you know. That's how I figured. Your brother. Uh. You spared the enemies. Come on. Well. Must have been as much of a weakling as you. Well, that's it, everybody. Thank you for watching. Like that's gonna work on me the second time, idiot! Whatever! It'll be a matter of time before that soul is mine! This isn't the last you've seen of me! Well, I guess that settles that for now. Have I just fucked myself? <laughs> uh, I'm kind of wondering what that flower's deal was. Finish me off? Ooh. That's kind of ex extreme, don't you think, Chris? Well, we might as well get out of here. As always, as we should. You know what would be cool? Delta Traveler. Yes! I wonder what it's called in the AI version. By Sarah Mullins. I literally only made this game to contribute to Chris Where the Hell Are We.